good morning, folks. Today we have a few looks at the power of magnetism in the cosmos. There's some space weather of note, a quasar jet, and more. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Just looking at the Earth-facing disk here doesn't give the impression there is space weather of note to discuss, but let's peek to the left side where the umbral magnetic fields above the incoming sunspot are indeed becoming visible. Remember, the equatorial coronal hole is behind it, and in about two days we'll get to analyze those spots. We are indeed in a minor electron storm way above our heads. These came in the wake of the stream which died out overnight in both plasma speed and geomagnetic disturbance. The Earth-facing coronal holes have their solar wind set to arrive tomorrow or Friday, should produce more mid-range geomagnetic activity. Let's go next to Quasar 3C273. The cosmic jet is optically visible and in different spectra the angle of our vantage point offers quite the display, including how a powerful magnetic field at the base of the cosmic jet is inducing strong Faraday rotation to the jet itself. It is highly likely that similar results will be obtained for numerous cosmic jets and active galactic nuclei in the future. A quick note on a recent paper describing the 21 centimeter radio observation that lit the cosmology world on fire last month. They say future projects like Pixie should be able to determine the facts about scattering potential and the existence of that milli charged particle, but let's also recall that the Pixie experiment is the one that will help us ascertain if there is a true dipole to the microwave background and not just the Doppler effect. So Pixie might upend both dark matter and the cosmic microwave background. Lastly, folks, magnetic fields in space once again, but this time in a much calmer scenario. We're looking at filaments in an infrared dark cloud. The fields are perpendicular to the densest filaments. Does anyone remember how ion trapping dust hid electric currents at Enceladus in situ? So the densest dust here has a field wrapped around it. No word from mainstream on a current, but they did confirm that stars are forming equidistant apart from one another on the filament, like we mentioned yesterday with Herschel's. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 525 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.